We certainly have. Now, listen, boys and girls, I've sold Wari Angels many, many times before, and um, I'm going to make this very, very quick and simple for you. Now, I'll show you the poem in there in a few moments' time. If you're having trouble with your health, with money, with friendship, with family, with work, or with loved ones, then Worry Angels are for you. Now, before I've got skeptics out there that say, when we sell Worry Angels, we prey on the vulnerable, I have serious issue with that. For the simple fact, not everybody has somebody to talk to. And for those of you that do, you are in a very, very lucky and fortunate position, because not everybody does. Worry Angels are symbolic of someone to talk to. Because the symbol of an angel is always a, a trusted symbol. It's something that people can relate to in a way that maybe people that follow religion can for the symbol of the religion that they follow. A worry angel is just something to share with. Because some people will talk to a loved one or a friend about their troubles. But if the person that you're talking to is the person you have a problem with, then they're the last person you can share with. Worry angels give you the opportunity just to talk. Because sometimes just acknowledging that there is a problem is the first step to solving the problem. That's all they are. They are something to talk to. Each one represents a different factor of life. One represents health. One represents money. One, friendship family, work, and love. If you have an issue with any of those aspects of life, each of these worry angels are there for you to share with. Now again, I relate back to the point that some people don't understand what these angels are all about, and they say, by selling them, we are preying on vulnerable people. If I had no one to talk to, and someone offered me or gave me something like this and said, look, talk to the angel, I would probably do it behind a closed door and not tell anybody that I did it. But if I felt better for doing it, I'd be grateful for the gift. That's the point of worry angels. They might be all you need to do something about the problem you're feeling inside. They might not, but that's why I now come back to the business aspect that whenever you pay for these, if you don't feel better for talking to these angels because maybe you have no one else to talk to, you return them back to me and I'll return back to you the money you paid for them. I've got 150 one sets already gone at 25.99, you won't be paying that, okay? How much would you pay to go and talk to a counsellor? 30 pounds a session? So already, it's a good price, because you have these to talk to whenever. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Now, you tell me that if you are the kind of person, maybe you're proud, maybe you're stubborn, maybe you're obstinate, or maybe you're just like everybody else, sometimes a bit vulnerable. Eight pounds to share a problem with something is better than keeping it inside. And I know because I've been to talk to people. I shared my problems with a counsellor many years ago, and I tell you what, I felt better for it. Two minutes. I'll give you one more price, guys. I've got to move on, and like I say, if these are not for you, if you feel silly for talking to a worry angel, return them back to me, and I'll give back to you five pounds. 0904 251 2000. Dial the number, press one, they're yours for a fiver. A fiver. There's also a little poem inside of this, which is a lovely poem, and it's, it's only apt that when we do have worry angels, I wish I had more time, but I just don't. Uh, when life is full of stresses and strains, who can we count on to soothe our pains? Write down your troubles, lock them away, and let these angels help keep them at bay. Roughly translated in a very, very brief synopsis, share. Share your troubles with someone or something, because a problem shared is sometimes a problem halved. That's why the analogy exists. 123, 122, 21. Loads of buyers on the phone lines. Guys, you need to be on the phone lines now if you want them. I'm sorry to have to rush. Uh, you're not being rushed, I'm being rushed. I've still got two more items I want to try to bring you, and I'm going to try to squeeze them in. Um, 103, 102, 101, 99, 98. Loads of buyers coming through. Uh, and don't forget as well, maybe you just want to give these to a friend. 
Maybe you know they're having trouble. You say, look, you might not be able to talk to me about it, but maybe you might be able to talk to one of your worry angels about it. And they might just say, what? I'm not interested. Look, for the sake of a fiver, it could be the best thing you ever did for your friend. Yep. It might not be. Like I'm saying, I still, I always, always, someone mentioned it to me a while back about you're playing on the vulnerable people, and that's stuck in me. It really stuck in me. I have a serious issue with that because I'm not playing on anybody's vulnerabilities. It's always down to free choice. But if you've got no one to turn to, not everybody is that fortunate to have someone to talk to. If you have no one to talk to, maybe talking to a worry angel, a symbol of solace, a symbol of safety, then it might just help you out of a very awkward predicament. It might not, but if it doesn't, return them back and I'll give you a fiver back. Uh, well done if you got those. Come over here with me. Bedding. Can't go wrong with bedding.